Okay, let's look at uh, pictures of I don't know, the pictures. Let's look at actual things I have collected. Um, along the lines of wacky packages. I like wacky packages. I collected ones from the seventies. And I guess if I get the ones in the 60s, 67, whatever, 69, I'll get those too. But I like Wacky Packages. And uh, so let's see what what we got here. Okay. Wacky Packages came out in 67. They were, they were like die cuts. They were just like the ones we were familiar with from the first and second series. Only um, they, for some reason, they were like, they're punched. They were like punched. You had to punch them out. And there was like some kind of adhesive on the back. You had to slick to stick it. So, of course, it wasn't very good adhesive. Now, why they did that, I don't know. They had the other kind of stickers already. They came up with the ugly stickers in 65 or 66. And I'm pretty sure those are peel-off stickers. For some reason, they didn't do it with wacky packages. And they were, I guess they weren't as popular as they were hoping they would be. Um, so, that they, they put that on the shelves. Some of those are very expensive because they didn't reprint them in the 73 series. Because, apparently, they got sort of cease and desist uh, notices from a couple of the companies they, they, they made the... Made them. Like, I think Ritz Crackers was one because they had one called Rats Crackers and had a bunch of rats eating it. I guess they felt that was bad for their image, so they ceased and desisted them and they couldn't make that one anymore. And so, anyway, so in 1969, they reissued them, uh, I think called Wacky Ads. And what they had was they had like, um, they still clung to the old, uh, you know, punch card concept. So it's like a little punch card for the, 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 the sticker, I guess, the sticker. Yeah, it's got some adhesive stuff smeared on the back. Sticker. And then like an ad as a backdrop. Here we got shtick blades. Um, I know I bought this one on eBay. For some reason it comes in like a big plastic thing. A big pain in the ass because it's hard for me to make it free to display it the way I want to display it. But I don't know how to get it out of this thing because I don't want to damage it. I even looked on the internet to see if, if there's a trick to like opening these things up. I couldn't find anything. So, I guess on the upside is it'll probably last for a thousand years, but... <laughs> Um, I can't, I wish I, I wish I could get it out, so I can just put it in these, I like to put them in these plastic, uh, pockets. So here's the other ones I got, I got, um, I see I got Exedrin, I got Garbage Baby Food, I don't know what that's based on. A beautiful black shampoo, like Breck, I guess. And they're all like, yeah, they're, they're, they see they're all kind of punch around the product. This one doesn't have a punch, how weird, they forgot to do it, apparently. Huh, strange. Yeah, this one has a punch on it. I get it, sounds good, huh. And there's also a punch card thing going there. You can see it right there. Plastered peanuts, chicken fat. So if the other one wasn't in that big, thick, plastic freaking slab, I'd be able to put it here with the other one. I have a nice set of six, but I can't. And there's something else that came out in the, in the, uh, in the early 60s. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, this is a original wrapper from um, Wacky Pack's fifth series, I believe. I can't believe I had to pay like four bucks for this thing because I used to throw, like, wait, throw away like tons of these fucking things. I didn't think anything of it. And this is something that came out with in, in 76. It's not wacky packages. It's like, it's like a card. And you fold them. And it makes different faces and stuff. And you fold them over. And um, I guess you make goofy things out of them, I guess. I guess kids like that. They figure the kids like that kind of stuff. Um, and these are phony ads. They came out in the early 60s. They were kind of like more along the lines of like sick humor kind of stuff, you know. Very... Uh, very degenerate art style and stuff like that. Killet blades, mud hyzer beer, yellow dent, toothpaste, fool cigarettes. Instead of cool, see. So I got some of those just because it's like kind of like the same idea as wacky packages like earlier on. And I got some oddball things here. I got some garbage pail kids. I got two. I got it's the same one. I guess they had they came out with a smaller series later, like a nostalgic thing probably. Uh, Swell Mel, which was their 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 homosexual character. You couldn't do that nowadays. It'd be a lot of uproar and outrage. But they could do it back in the nineties, I guess. Was it nineties? Late eighties, I guess. I don't know. So yeah. Oh, we got ugly stickers. I was telling you about those. They had like different names. Like here's Ron. Like some kind of weird bug thing. There's Karen. Some kind of nose monster. Lloyd. Ed. Where's Glenn? I had Glenn. I had Glenn when I was a kid. I don't know. I have Glenn now. Um, so this is the original ones from the, from the 60s. You can see they're all yellow and stuff and kind of beat up. And they reissued them in the early 70s. I remember them from the early 70s. I wasn't a big collector of them or anything, but I do remember they reissued them. Um, stickers, yeah. All right. So that's neat. Oh, and then like in the early 80s, um, they came out with like Odd Rods thing. 
I find that surprise Tops had made such a bad marketing decision. They came out with those crazy psycho characters, cartoon characters driving hot cars. But they did it in the early 80s, and that trend pretty much died out with the 70s, if I recall correctly. But anyway, what well, cool thing about this series, I got the whole series, um, is um, Norm Sanders did all of them. And um, he did an awful lot of work for this, the, the wacky packages from the 70s. He did all the best work. He did most work. I think um, I used to think that he did all of them, but they had other artists working on them too. But he was the most prolific one. He, he was a pro. I mean, uh, he'd been in the uh, illustration business since the days of pulp magazines back in the 20s and 30s. So he was a very gifted and prolific worker. Okay, so these are some of the... Hot Rod ones again. What were they called? They don't know what they're called. Uh, maybe it says on the back here. Let's see. Um, let's see what the fuck how they're called. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Hmm. I guess that's that's unfortunate. Um. Oh yeah, I got both. Help both sides because there's really nothing on the back to look at, so I just say like, use. I got like two pages out of every page, <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of neat stuff, I guess. Hmm. All right, oh, look at that! Wow, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> screaming demon. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, Killdozer. That's where they got the idea from, huh? <laughs> That's the Killdozer movie, I think, came out in the 70s. And they came out with a comic book about the killer bulldozer. It's like a bulldozer gets possessed by a ghost or a demon or something like that, so it's going on a homicidal rampage. <laughs> oh, shit, what kind of sick fucks think of this crap? Spider Mobile. Cool. Got eight wheels. <laughs> eight headlights? I only got, only got two headlights, oh well. Kind of dropped the ball there, I guess. Chopped hog. And what's this? Oh yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then uh, you know, the Kong card, Coink. Conk card, King Kong card. I don't know. So, and then in the '80s, they came out with something. Tops came out with a Dinosaurs Attack series. I guess it's kind of like the Mars Attacks, which I don't have any of those, but those were really big in the early '60s. Mars Attacks cards. Um, I have like some of the reprints somewhere in my stuff. I bought those. And I have a book with all the cards in it. I mean, not the actual cards, but the pictures bigger than the actual cards. So you can see more detail. Kind of cool. And um, but here's the so they came out with something called Dinosaurs Attack, and they made a little story about it, like these dinosaurs get sucked out of a vortex into the present day, and they just run around killing people and mauling people and all kinds of gross shit, and then they send them back after the carnage is reached a certain level and then then after a lot of people have died they think it's okay to like send them back to the camera. I don't know but yeah look at the dinosaurs the dinosaurs stepping on a dog a little puppy dog and the girl's crying like oh dog's getting crushed by a dinosaur just having a bad day I guess and here's a homeroom horror dinosaurs like eating students and teachers and stuff and crunching them and the artwork is like very very 80s you know it's funny, I didn't really appreciate this stuff at the time, of course. That's how it always is. And now later on, you look back and it's like, wow, I had a, 80s had a very distinctive look. I kind of overlooked it because at the time, I thought it was just like a real kind of slick, like normal look, you know? Like, I know the 70s has a look and the 60s and the 50s and the 40s and 30s, you know? But I never thought of the 80s as having special look when I was living it. I just thought that was just like normal. Like, I thought all like styles are like gone now and everything was like totally normal. Then I come to find out later on, I was like, that's a style too. But anyway, I think, uh, it's, uh, I, it, this is before computers, so this is all, like, handmade artwork. I mean, so it's really cool, I think. <clears throat> They're fighting over some guy, ripping him half. <laughs> it's mine! No, it's mine! No, I found him first! No, it's mine! Get away from it! Ah! Okay, you take the top half, I'll take the bottom half. I want the bottom half, you take the top half. No, I <laughs> So, Dinosaurs. Ooh, look at that. The dinosaur gets electrocuted to death. Mm. This is a perfect wave, dude. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Ooh, he likes trains. It's good. It's all good. Saurian Secrets. Some advanced evolved dinosaur 
hominid from the distant past. <laughs> this guy got stomped. That guy's having a real fucking rough time there. Look at him. <laughs> Shit. I'm glad I'm not him. With all my problems, at least I'm not this guy. Actually, I do have a lot to be thankful for. I'm not in debt, and I'm not manacled to somebody I hate through marriage, so I guess I have it pretty good compared to a lot of people. <laughs> and hopefully things will get better for me, because God knows I've been through a lot. God knows I have. I, I really don't deserve it. I didn't really deserve any of it, you know? I really. I, don't, I mean, the scary part is a lot of people think I deserve worse, which is like, yeah, based on what? Based on a very biased and slanted presentation. Which about made by people who are specifically out to fucking destroy me. Do people take that in consideration when they watch that garbage? Of course not. Well, another, another dinosaur, another dispute over a delicious human here. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, my boyfriend's got ripped in half by dinosaurs. Mom. This is like, I forget the story here, but it's like this... Dinosaur appears out of the other from another dimension, and he appears like right uh, where somebody else was standing. So they like they're merged, and he's having his friends shoot him and kill him because it's the only merciful thing to do. It's the only merciful thing to do in a situation like that. You gotta be a friend, and you gotta blow the guy's brains out. It's the only only thing. <laughs> the dinosaur is getting sucked into the vortex. The vortex is so powerful it like sucks the fucking meat off their bones. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Oh, this is the supreme evil. This is like some kind of the spirit of the of, 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 of the dinosaur age, the evil dinosaur age. I don't know why the dinosaur age has to be evil just because they're giant bird reptile creatures, but apparently... They're... And so it came with some... There were, these are just cards, but they also came with a, some, some stickers. These are the stickers. They, some of them they came with these stickers. You could stick on things, I guess. <laughs> and they impaled on his horn, of course. And whenever that dinosaur has a horn or something like that, you gotta see a person impaled on it. That's the way it goes. And then, I didn't know this, they came out, I guess, after the Garbage Pail Kids were so popular. Some, uh, m m some genius over at Top Side, like, hey, let's do troll dolls. Trolls are really popular. So let's do troll stickers, but I don't think they were really so popular because trolls were really big in the 70s. Again, you know, the 70s, I remember them. Um, people, were, kid, little girls were crazy about those ugly little fucking damn things. But I don't recall them being popular at all in the 90s. I don't know the timing. Is, it's a little, they don't have to, some of these older guys, these are all like old middle-aged guys, you know, working in a, a bubblegum card company. And they don't always have their a finger on the pulse of the of the nation's youth. <laughs> they kind of missed the boat a lot of times. You gotta wonder, if the, any of these people had, like, fucking kids that were reasonably popular in school, they shouldn't have any trouble, but they still managed to struggle trying to, trying to, it's like hit or miss trying to figure out what the kids will like, you know. Harry, Harry. Yeah, they're just like the garbage pail kids. They make these goofy names for them. Slam Duncan. Hmm. All right, so... Trash can trolls, right? They're called trash can trolls. Flush Gordon. Okay, we're starting to have some scat and toilet humor here. Yeah, that started like in the 80s. It was pretty unheard of in the 70s. It was considered like, well, as rightly so, it was considered to be kind of like lowbrow and nasty. There were a lot of like sexual in you on those, I remember. And there was some, there was like, so I remember there was a show called Fish and one and the guy who was an old guy, so a lot of like fucking bathroom jokes and that and stuff like that. But for kids, it wasn't encouraged. And it's in the 90s, they started coming out. In the 80s, there was some, some toilet humor. And I remember in the 90s, there was like a lot of booger. Booger and barf humor. <laughs> and now I guess anything goes these days. Jeez. So, look at here. Look at Booger Bobby. He's like, I guess he's a... He lives in a booger. <laughs> There's a boy in the bubble. This is like the boy in the booger. <laughs> This guy getting electrocuted? I don't know, he's like exploding. His brain's coming out and everything. Yeah, this guy's uh, pretty much finished, I guess. You've seen better days, huh? Hannah Banana, she peels her head like a banana, and her brain is the banana, and her skin is the peel. She doesn't have a skull, apparently, just skin over her brain. 
very strangely strange anatomical configuration. Um, hmm, I thought it's Scott Snot. Yeah, this is like two runs of the same series because that 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 booger one is is here, but now he's called Scott Snot. So I think they released this series twice, and they gave them all different names. I guess they figure the kids are too stupid to remember. <laughs> they already bought the exact same things. Or maybe they maybe they came out like much later or something. I don't know. Cast backwards, yes, yes, another kind of thing. This guy's got his butt on his front. That's like that's kind of disturbing. Was that supposed to be a gay thing or something? I don't get it. All right, so Herbert Sherbert. Ew, he's licking his face so features off. Oh, ouch! And yeah. Uh, Open heart surge. Like a stripper and like people are throwing money into his like rib cage and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. It's just Oh, electric bill. <laughs> fun Gus. Fun Gus is a fun guy. Really fun. So, trash can chills, trash can chills. Yeah. Oh, bleh. Love it, that's hilarious. <laughs> Puking is hilarious. Alright, so, yeah, so that's my, um, book of some of the cards that I managed to collect. I got a collection of wacky packages, I'll show you that later. Let's see, wacky packages, yeah. Uh, come on, there we are. So, I'll show you those. Okay, guys, so that's my uh, trash can trolls, my uh, dinosaurs attack cards, my, uh, the hot, my, my, my Mackie packages, my, my phony ads, my ugly stickers, and I forget what these hot rod cards by Norm Sanders from the early 80s are called, but okay, so that's it. Okay, bye.